Welcome to Questions from the Crowd. I'm joined today by Brett Smuts, uh, the CEO and founder of Renutrients, who are doing a, a current equity crowdfunding raise on On Market. Welcome, Brett. Morning, Tim. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Uh, what we wanted to do today was run through a couple of questions that have come through from some On Market members in and around um, Renutrients, the company, uh, and Renutrients, uh, I guess, the equity crowdfunding raise. Um, just starting off very simply, you run us through sort of um, what does Renutrients do, a little bit about the circular economy and a little bit about the problem that exists here in Australia in relation to, um, I guess, the lack of recycling of, um, of, of batteries. Sure. The, um, the, uh, Renutrients started, has started using a technology from uh, Finland, from TraceGrow, to recycle alkaline batteries and turn them into zinc and manganese sulfate, which is an important uh, micronutrient fertiliser for, for crops um, and potentially for, for many other uses. So basically we can we can turn 80% of, of a used alkaline battery into a, a pu- purified uh, micronutrient fertiliser, um, which, is, which is certified for even for organic farming in Australia. So it just goes to show how, how clean the process is. Um, we, so you're, uh, you're, you're, you're a clean tech um, meets ag tech play, you would say. Um, one of the things I was interested in your offer document that talks about is that in Australia, only 4% of, of batteries are actually recycled, which seems to be a very, very small figure. Um, is that a problem in Australia? And, and where do the batteries go at the moment, assuming they're going to landfill? Yeah, that's right. We in Australia, we're far behind the rest of the world, especially Scandinavia, where they're probably recycling around 50% of batteries at the moment. Uh, in Australia, probably 95% go go either into landfill or are exported overseas for for other people to deal with, basically. Um, and it doesn't need to be that way. We can we can convert used alkaline batteries, which is can be harmful waste, and and, and turn them into useful uh, useful products, especially for our agricultural industry. Um, while we're not limited to agriculture, at the moment we have a ready product, zinc and manganese for, for agriculture, but there's many other avenues that the, the technology can be used for in recycling and turning um, waste metals in, in, into um, clean products. At the moment we're taking um, used alkaline batteries, turning them into fertiliser. How big is that fertiliser market? The micronutrient fertilizer market worldwide is valued at over three three and a half billion us dollars it's an ongoing uh, issue with over farming and, and general age of, of soils obviously farmers uh, are pushing to produce high yields and high yield crops demand more from soils um, and they need to be replaced so it's not an issue that's going to go away it's it's a market size that is continuing to grow at we believe around 12% per year, um, and there's enough raw materials and raw waste for us to convert uh, into this growing market. Just following up on that on that answer, Brett, uh, just wanting to know how you differ, how you differ to the current products, um, fertilizer products that are on the shelf at the moment for for Australian farmers. The big difference between our product and other products are that our products are made from recycled waste, whereas other products are from mined materials, which obviously puts more stress on on, on the environment. Um, the circular economy is the, is, the, is the best way to address this by taking minerals from the ground and, and putting them back into the ground. Okay, let, let's talk about a little bit then around about the, I guess, the technology that exists at the moment with, um, you know, TraceGrow, this Finnish uh, clean tech company. And with the opportunity then that you have with your exclusive distribution agreement with them to one, bring the fertiliser to Australia at the moment, but then secondly, the plans in the next two or three years um, to build a local production facility um, to process uh, this battery waste. Can you sort of talk us through a bit of the timeline there? Um, The use of funds here obviously is to 
establish your, your distribution uh, channels in Australia for the fertiliser. But then fast forwarding to sort of, you know, three years time, uh, ultimately what we're wanting to do or what you're wanting to do is to, uh, is to build that uh, local production facility. Yeah, so currently we're working under an exclusive distribution agreement with TraceGrow. Um, our end goal has always been to have a, a local manufacturing facility in Australia, which which makes sense uh, on a few levels uh, to, to use the, the waste that we have in Australia, but also in terms of logistics uh, to, to make use of it and not ship our, our product from, from the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere. We've we've got a lot of interest from from local and federal governments in in supporting this technology, this clean tech technology in Australia. Um, there are modern manufacturing um, grants to to support uh, businesses like ours bringing this technology to Australia, and we are in discussions with with Trace Grow um, in in developing a, a factory here in the in the next uh, within the next couple of years. That's fantastic. Um, in summary, um, for on-market investors and for others that have been introduced to, to Renutrients um, during this crowd raise, what are your sort of two or three final points in relation to why they should invest into Renutrients? Look, our, our aim is to revolutionise the way battery waste is, is treated in Australia and we believe as, as a business um, with a world leading technology that's that's backed by patents um, is sustainable in Australia. There's there's many opportunities outside of agricultural products to convert waste streams from from other forms of, of uh, uh, waste production of steel and mining that we can also efficiently convert into profitable products. And we, we believe investors that are able to to join our business now will will um, see us grow into various other um, clean clean uh, clean products in the near future. Okay, uh, it's a good summary, and um, you know a lot of our market investors like the circular economy. Um, we 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 do like companies that um, you know there's a massive problem there. We obviously that's the recycling of batteries and, and coming up with a a clean tech solution that obviously leads to, you know, the ag tech product, um, you know, I think it's very exciting and, and congratulations. We, we look forward to a, to a successful raise. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for your, for, thanks for your time. Thanks for your support. And, um, we're, we're all very excited at Renutrients, uh, for the next uh, couple of weeks when we go live and, um, we hope to uh, have another discussion in, in the next couple of weeks. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Tim.